In this tutorial, we will learn how to create an array of objects, or how to duplicate an object many times. So, let us create a collection of this default cube. First go to the Modifier tab, and add an Array Modifier. Enter the number of copies you want, into this field. As we entered 10, it may appear that the object got stretched in this direction, but in reality, Blender created 10 copies of the default cube, and just placed them side by side. Their position is controlled by these offset values. For example, if we change the Y offset value to 2, the duplicate objects will line up neatly in another direction. Notice how they are positioned with an equal spacing between them. These positions can be controlled by changing the offset values. If we remove the X offset, the objects will line up perfectly along the Y axis with two units of center to center distance. There is another way to create this array. If we change this fit type to length instead of a count, and enter a length value like 50, the objects will arrange themselves to cover the given distance. The number of objects will depend on the gap between them. Just like before, these offset values determine the gap between each pair of objects. If we change the offset to 5, we will now have fewer objects in this array. But the total length covered by the array will still remain as 50. We can also arrange these array objects in different ways. Let us first delete this array modifier. We will show you one particular technique. Press 7 on your number keypad to go to the top view. Then add a circle from the add menu. And enlarge it by 5 times. This time let us create an array of spheres. So, add the first sphere as usual from the add menu, and position it just on the circle we have added. We want to create an array of this sphere in a circular way around our default cube. But before that, we need to add another object here. Any type of object will do, so let us add one monkey. Then move it to the circle and position it little away from our sphere. This object will control the way the array objects are created. Once they are created, we will hide this monkey. So, ensure the sphere is selected. Then go to the Modifier tab, and add the Array Modifier. Now in the Fit Type, select the Fit Curve option. And in the Object field, select our Bezier Circle. You can see the array elements are created here. But the orientation is not along the circle. In order to position them on the circle, we have to change the offset. First remove this Relative Offset option. Then enable the Object Offset, and in the Object field, select the monkey. The spheres are arranged towards the monkey, but still not on the circle. Simply select the monkey and go to its properties to rotate it slightly, say by 36 around the Z-axis. You can see the spheres are now perfectly arranged along the circle. You can hide the monkey. As these sphere are part of an array, if you select any one, all of them will get selected. If you change their properties, resize them, or assign a material for any one of them, it will reflect on all, which we can see in the rendered view. So that was a quick tutorial on how to create an array of objects. You can play with it and discover more variations in the type and the design. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.